Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about one of the accessories that a number of you out there should really start thinking about once you start improving your NAS network in your home or office. I'm of course talking about power line extenders. Now power line extenders or power line adapters depending on where you buy them from um, are the means to have a NAS somewhere in your home or office say here and you want to be able to access it via the LAN or Wi-Fi maybe um, from, uh, to an, from another location much further away because a number of you out there might have homes or buildings or the walls are just too thick for Wi-Fi or that the NAS is going to be placed somewhere that doesn't have traditional network access or the device that you're going to be accessing the NAS with doesn't have traditional um, network or internet access and the way around that other than drilling holes in walls and running cables all over the shop and running cat six cables sticking out your ceiling the answer is a power line adapter what it does is uh, you have the NAS based here you have your network attack uh, your uh, network or internet point here and what happens is you can connect the network point into your mains power to run it throughout your house and it comes out at the other end ready to be connected to it. It lets you send your network, access your network signals all the way through your home or office using the mains electricity and those cables already in the system. And what this is, this is a 1000 megabits per second uh, power line adapter with Wi-Fi enabled as well. So do remember when buying any power line adapter that you're gonna have to get one that's got, or, or at least have, two power line adapters one to have at the point of receiving and the other one at the exit point so entry exit now this is a kit so it arrives with both and one of them is wi-fi enabled now the av1000 is available in several versions this one uh, i believe is about 35 40 quid i know there's a price probably on the screen but that might change by the time you watch this who knows but there is a non-wi-fi and a wi-fi one out there i know it sounds stupid but if you want the wi-fi one Go for the one with the aerials. Now again, we're gonna do this quick unboxing here. Let's see how this bad boy opens. Again, I've just got hold of this. I'm gonna be testing this out and give some speed records on this on my next video. But if we open it up, and again, the retail packaging is very colorful indeed, almost like a PSU. And inside, we have the first power line adapter. And once again, this is the one that's gonna be connected to your router, your switch, basically your internet point. And it's got a LAN port there at the bottom and on the front, some LED lights to give real-time information, see if we can get the light right, some real-time information there about the device, when it's being accessed, if it's on the network, and of course, power. And there's a pairing button there that you click, so you plug it in, you click the pairing button, and make sure you've already connected the LAN cable there, from, again, your router or your switch, from there, into root the switch, and then press pair, so that's one connected in one part of the house. And then at the other end, you want the other one. And remember, there is non-Wi-Fi versions available, but this Wi-Fi version here, have the aerials up, you connect that. Again, this is a UK one, but other countries' ones are available. And you can connect either via directly via LAN, so this goes into your NAS, your PlayStation 4, your smart TV, anywhere you want that network access into there. And then you've got buttons there on the front to pair them up, or, to turn this into a, a Wi-Fi mirror, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. Also inside the box, we've got a random bit of card. We have one gigabit LAN cable, bit stingy, gotta say. Uh, first time installation manual, information on your warranty, uh, FAQ, and a little bit more information about the company itself. And that's really it, that's all you get inside the box. So once again, once you've got this set up, let's get this out of the way. Get rid of, again, you've seen the cable, you get one um, RJ45, either Cat5 or Cat6 cable, ideally. And what you do is you connect that either in the room or around about, if you're going to use Wi-Fi, the area you're going to be accessing. And remember, this bad boy is the one that's going to be connected by your router or switch. And the mains power will carry that all the way through. So what's this uh, uh, Wi-Fi cloning? Well, Wi-Fi cloning is the means, so if you've got existing Wi-Fi at the other end of the house, that you're running via the power line adapter into this one at the other end. The result is, by clicking that, is it will duplicate the network protocol for that Wi-Fi. It will effectively become a Wi-Fi hotspot, a Wi-Fi access point even, to that other Wi-Fi, rather than an own independent subsystem. It will let you access that with the same login credentials and all the same information as your original Wi-Fi, meaning you won't have to set up a brand new Wi-Fi hotspot point with brand new login credentials or any of that other nonsense. It will just completely dupe to, you know, exactly port for port, number for number, your original Wi-Fi point. And the result, of course, is 
ease of setup, plug and play, and just walking around the house from one end to the other on your phone, scrolling along, and the phone will just jump from one Wi-Fi point to the other once you move to that end of the house. And that's really it, really. Um, once I've got this set up, we'll, we'll do <coughs> some speed tests on it. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to visit me at um, NASCompares.com. If you're interested in buying your first NAS, of course, visit the guys at Span.com, the NAS experts. And otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.